Today I'd like to talk about how we can take a simple octave chord with the right hand and with the left hand we can actually start to play around with the left hand by doing a 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 left hand pattern. Let's go to the overhead view and I'm going to show you what I mean as we go through and practice this in all keys. It's a very simple exercise, but if you can learn how to play the 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 left hand pattern on the piano, you can apply that to any music you arrange. You can use it in any composition you compose. So let's try this and see what happens. So the left hand pattern is a 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 left hand pattern. Now if we start on C, C becomes 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can keep going on, 9, 10. So 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 follows that progression. Again, I'm just starting on C and playing 1, 5, 8, 9, 10. Now I can do that beginning on D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I can start anywhere I want. So if I start on C, and pretend like we're playing eighth notes, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. I could start on D. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. I could start on E. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. For now, I'm just doing white keys only. I could start on F. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. G. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. A. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. B. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and C. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So what I would have you practice is try to play a major octave chord with the right hand. C, E, G, C. Now you can play it blocked or you can break it apart and roll it. I can go to C sharp, D major, E flat major, E major, F major, F sharp, G major, A flat, A major, B flat major, B major, C major. And again, we are using the major scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you're in the key of D major, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because we have two sharps in the key of D major. Now, all of these, uh, these are just fun examples I'm demonstrating. Some of these are actually from my book, 100 Left Hand Patterns Every Piano Player Should Know, where we have the 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 left hand pattern in that book. Right now, I'm going to show you some examples from my book, Essential New Age Piano Exercises, and then also the octave chords we work on in my book Essential Piano Exercises. But in my book Essential New Age Piano Exercises, every piano player should know, I have a section where I talk about doing a simple 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 left hand pattern, and you can go through and you can play around with that. But the left hand pattern is to help you start to play around with your chords. Let's go to the back of the book right here, and we're going to start to look at some of these 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 left hand patterns. Here I have New Age Contemporary Left Hand Patterns on page 90. And you can see how we have all the different New Age pieces I've composed. Right here, we start throwing in some different examples where we do a 1, 5, 8, 9, 10, 5, and, and we play around with some different examples. But what I would like to have you try, if you go to page 63 in the book, and this is essentially new age piano exercises every piano player should know, go to page 63, and this is what it has you play.
Now, it's a fun way to play around. I'm only playing the octave chord with my right hand. C, E, G, C is the C major octave chord. With my left hand, I'm playing the 1, 5, 8, 9, 10. That's it. Now, let me show you what you can do. This is just a fun way. I'm just going to improvise and play around. I started on the C major octave chord, and then I went to an F major octave chord, and then I went to a D minor octave chord, and then I went to an A minor octave chord, then G major octave chord. And of course, if I'm playing the G major octave chord with my right hand, my left hand is starting on G and playing 1, 5, 8, 9, 10. So this is just a fun, helpful hint. I'm going to come back here to the front. This is something you can do, and it's simple, easy. It's easy to understand. It's a 1, 5, 8, 9, 10 left hand pattern. You can learn more about my essential piano exercises that I teach. I have a course. If you go to essentialpianoexercises.com, you can learn more about that. I also have online group piano lessons that I teach at EssentialPianoLessons.com where you can learn more about that. But I'd love to have you check those out. Check out my Essential Piano Exercise series. We have four books in the series right now. Essential Piano Exercises. Essential Piano Exercises every piano player should know, but it's for jazz piano. Essential New Age Piano Exercises every piano player should know. And then we have 100 Left Hand Patterns. Every piano player should know. So have fun. Check that out. You can check more information out on my website, musicmotivation.com. But go to my website, essentialpianoexercises.com and essentialpianolessons.com for more information. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. See you. Bye.